Hello everyone. In this video we are going to see how humidifier works and also a simple experiment to show why we should not use tap water in it. The humidifiers are used to mix moisture in the dry air. There are several health benefits by using this device. There are warm and cold types in humidifiers. The warm type humidifiers will evaporate the water using heat and then the water vapor is mixed into the air to create humidity. Whereas in cold type, ultrasound is used to create mist using cavitation method. The mist is then mixed into the air to create humidity. Both warm and cold types have their own advantages and disadvantages which we can discuss in another video. Using tap water in ultrasonic humidifiers is more dangerous for our health, especially for kids. So, let's understand how ultrasonic humidifiers works. Ultrasonic humidifiers works based on hydrodynamic cavitation and fluid mechanics. The ultrasound creates bubbles in water when the piezoelectric disc vibrates at ultrasonic frequencies. The vibrations at high frequencies propel microscopic water droplets into the air in the form of mist. Once the mist reaches the air, the droplets evaporate, adding humidity to the air in the room. When we use tap water in this process, the mist will carry all the contaminants and dissolved minerals like calcium, magnesium in the form of white dust. This white dust can be very dangerous to our lungs and can cause various respiratory issues. Over a period of time, the white dust will settle down in walls as well. A simple solution to prevent white dust is by using distilled water or demineralized water instead of tap water. I have created a simple setup to create mist from the tap water using ultrasonic mist maker and convert the mist back to water. Let's see how much contaminants the mist can have. The tap water in my home have around 700 total dissolved substances or TDS. We can see some solid substances in the water like calcium salt when we boil and cool it down. Let's build the mist maker on the mist catcher unit to see if the mist can carry those solid substances.
setup is ready and let's run it. The mist is created from the container, passed through the mist catcher and converted back to water. The converted water has lost some TDS, but not completely. Now the TDS is around 500. Let's boil it. As you can see, it's very evident that when we use tap water, the dissolved solid substances will be present, even in the form of mist in the air. When we inhale these substances, it is not good for our lungs. So always use distilled or demineralized water in humidifiers. Be safe. Thanks for watching.